Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. We've got eight already. So the paper collection that we're using today is Best Dad Ever by Becky Fleck. And of course, we know that Father's Day is coming up and it's just around the corner. So I thought we would make a Father's Day card today. And let me just go through the collection real quick so you guys can check it out if you haven't seen it already. So I love how this one's called Your Classic. And I love the wood flooring. And then we have what I call faux washi. Um, this is really cute. Dad, pops, daddy. I love the, the cars. Of course, you have all your sports, fishing, ties, mustache, sunglasses, racetrack. Love that. Oh, my gosh. I love the grilling. That's adorable. That's really cute. So you're going to get two of each of these. And then on um, this one, this one's called Grill Master, and I love how it's kind of like a dotted shirt, if that makes sense. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Nicole. And then here on this side, you have your, you know, I call it chopping block, your steak, your dad's apron, the grill, the chef's knife. Love, love, love. Really super cute. You even have little mushrooms and a longhorn. That's cute. That is adorable. It's perfect for Barbara because they've got longhorns in Texas. I'm sure they have them in Oklahoma and everywhere else that, you know, is a farm. And this one is called Great Dad. That's really cute. I love how they do that with a license plate. Um, and I love the little father. It's official. You're the greatest dad. Great dads get promoted to grandpa. Love, love, love. And of course, I love the striped shirt. Yeah, the grill one is my favorite, uh, next to the fishing. Those two are both my favorite. And then I actually really like this one with all the nuts and bolts. That's really cool. This one's called License Plate. And that's really cute. It has Papa, my hero, greatest. You're great. Grill master. That's so cute. Daddy, Papa really cute love 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 and then of course we have the plaid shirt can't not have plaid okay because i'm plaid obsessed hi debbie hi nell hi sharon hi renee girl long island i need to go back to new york i miss new york here we have our little fishes this is so cute with a fishing pole adorable and then here is like your cogs. So that's really cool. Kind of like automotive. That's really nice. D is for dad, super dad. You're terrific. That's cute. You're awesome sauce. I love this one, okay? Dad Yoda best. <laughs> that's adorable. Really cute. I will definitely, Renee. I will. It's been a while since I've been to New York. Gosh, probably around 18 years or so. Okay, and the sticker collection, I really love this. So this one I used on the card that I'm going to show you um, that I did yesterday. Um, here's Father Knows Best, Hero, Best Dad Ever, Love My Daddy, Happy Father's Day, Love the Little Fish and Tackle, and of course, more grilling, 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 Love the Tennis Shoes. This is my favorite truck. Of course, so really cute stuff on here. And then of course, the collection also has your, your photo polymer stamps. Best dad ever, your awesome dad. So if you are a stamper, I love the really cool little dog on here. That's cute. Hi, Mary. Yeah, I love the gears and cogs too, that's cool. And then of course you have your die cut. So I love being able to just, you know, cut out the die so I don't have to fussy cut because I stink at fussy cutting, but I try. I, I try to do my best. And then we here we have our ephemera. And this one's really cute. You have a couple frames. One, two, three, four frames. You have some tags. Best pop ever. That's cute with the soda pop on there. Um, and some tags. If at first you don't succeed, call dad. Isn't that the truth? You are one cool dad. Love, love, love all that. That's really cute. So that's perfect. Am I at Edison show? No, I'm at my home in Vero Beach. 
Let me show you the card that we're going to make today. So I call this a bow tie card. I really don't know if that's what they call it, but it reminds me of the beginning of a t-shirt card. If you've ever seen those, they're really fun to make for Father's Day as well, but I thought I would change it up a little bit. I did a lot of layering. I did a lot of, um, I took the sticker and then I fussy cut around it, but I wanted to back it up on some solid colored cardstock because I wanted it sticking out above. So definitely get out your foam tape and your glue and everything. And then, of course, I just went on with the um, grill one. But today, we're going to do the gears and cogs today. I thought that would be fun, but we're going to do the exact same type of tutorial. So it's not going to be any different. So first of all, you're going to grab out your paper. And you want it to be 12 inches by 7 inches. So I'm going to grab my 12 by 12 paper. I don't even have to use extra paper. Just my cardstock that I got here. So that makes it always fun. And since it's 12 inches across, I'm just going to cut it at 7 inches down. Okay. Make sure I have that pulled out all the way. Make sure it's lined up straight. And then cut. And I'm just going to use this for another card. Okay. I don't know. I might even make a little mini album or something for him. I don't know. But I'm going to get out my scoreboard. And then I'm going to score it three inches. This is on your 12 inch side. Three inches. And nine inches. Okay. I'm going to get out my mat again. And I'm just going to go ahead and fold over. I'm going to make sure they're straight when I fold them over too. All right. We're going to have this on the inside, okay? So now you kind of have like a gatefold card. Thank you so much, Debbie, for sharing this for me. I'm going to grab my ruler here. And you know what? Hopefully I can see this. I'm going to get out my chalk. This is my favorite thing to use because I can go ahead and just wipe it off, okay? And I want to find the center of this. And it's going to be three and a half. All right, and I'm just going to make a little mark. And I'm going to actually I'm going to make a big mark because, you know, I'm blind as a bat these days. Maybe I better go down just a smidge. Okay, just so I can see it, I can always wipe it away, flip it around, and I'm going to do the other side as well. Three and a half. Okay. And then I'm going to get out my cutting board. And I'm going to cut out my triangle. So I'm going to line this up from this score line to my three and a half inch line. I'm just going to line this up, do, 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 swing it over. I'm going to do the best I can, guys, because, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. I really, 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 really need glasses, but I'm a procrastinator. I have glasses, and those aren't even good enough. And then I'm just going to flip it around and do the other side. So now I have my diamond shape. What is the back side of the paper? This is the license plates. I thought these were really cute. Super smart idea. I don't think I ever would have thought of that. But we used to save license plates from every state that we moved to. Well, my dad did. I didn't. But my dad did, and that was kind of cool. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Keep that lined up. Okay, now we have our bow tie. Oh my gosh, I actually did a decent job. <laughs> I was so worried that they were going to meet in the middle. Let me tell you because I really can't see. Okay, so now the other thing I did is I got out some stack dies, okay? And I went with, so you know how you have your largest one and then your smallest one? I started off with the second smallest and then the third, and so the middle one, okay? And because I wanted it to be long enough, so this one is, let's just say, this one is five inches, and I decided to do an oval. 
and this one is um, five and five eighths, it looks like, okay? And then your actual size of your card is six inches by seven inches, okay? Then I'm gonna grab up my foam dots and my glue. Now I will say that what I did was is I cut out two of these, okay? Because I wanted my backside to look really nice. So I did cut out two of these and I'm gonna lay these right on top of each other and glue them together, okay? Or you could do it like this if you want to. You could glue it like this, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna glue it right on top. So I'm gonna line these up. And if my glue's gonna work right today, let's remove this off here. So we don't have to keep fussing. Okay. And the glue I'm using right here is art glue, but it's whatever adhesive you feel comfortable with. Just make sure it's lined up and burnish it in. I'm gonna finish gluing this side. All right, there we go. Burnish it in. And this one, of course, I only did one. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one up. Oh, thank you, Jerry. Now, you know, I definitely want to visit Canada. What I should do is make a trip to New York and then just go to Canada from there. Hello from Peru. That is awesome. Okay, I am going to do one in the middle too because I don't like my stuff to cave in at all. Now let me just pull all these little sticky back ends here. And I always go on about this sticky stuff. This foam tape is from the Dollar Tree. You can't beat all of that for a dollar, okay? And it really works. It's pretty good stuff. Okay, one more in the center here. And you know me, I always like to add a little bit of glue so I can slide it into place if I mess it up, okay? Oh, here, let me turn my cog down this way. And I'm just gonna center that the best I can. And press gently. Now, I took one of the four by six cards like I did with dad and I went ahead and fussy cut it out already because I thought it would be really cool to use the one with the tools to keep going with this kind of cog and tool theme here. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one up too. Why not? We're gonna make it super layered. Can never have enough layers. You know, dad's worth it. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to center this. Let me see if that looks about right. I'm just going by what I can see on my camera. <laughs> okay. Just gently rub that in to make sure it's secure. All right, and then here comes the fun part. I'm only going to glue this on one side, okay? Because obviously I want this to be a gatefold still. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right in here. And again, I'm just going to slide it into place. I got a couple seconds and that looks about right. I'm just trying to see there's about a quarter inch from each side here. Hello, Pam. And if you want to add more glue, what I love about this glue is that you can slide it under there 
and then get more glue in there as needed. Okay, so for the inside of my card, I want to go with no one me no one else measures up number one dad i thought that was really cute and i'm not actually going to layer this with foam because i've already got enough layering going on on this side okay so i'm just going to center this this is one of the three by four cards that i cut out and then for my bottom piece i basically took the back of the same paper and i cut this one at three and a quarter by four and a quarter okay and I'm just going to center this in here. Make it super easy. Yeah, maybe scoot it down just a smidge. And then burnish it in there. Okay. And then we're going to center this. And the best thing for me to do is. I like using my mat to line it up, make sure this isn't crooked, okay? All right, that looks about, that looks about right, right there. Still looks crooked though, doesn't it? Let me scoot this up a smidge. No, I'm not gonna scoot it up a smidge, I lied. We're going to scoot it down a smidge. No, I want to keep this. Okay, I'm going to hold it into place and grab my glue and just kind of press it under there and wipe away any excess glue. So, this is a super easy card. If you sell cards, you could make, you know, 20 of these in no time, like super fast. All right. So now we have no one else measures up. It looks really cute. I'm going to add some stickers on here now. And of course, if you want to cut out stamps, you could do that too. Let me grab some of these. I think I'm going to do So Glad You're My Dad. But I'm going to back this up a smidge here. I'm just going to fussy cut around this because I don't want it to stick. I want to be able to make sure that my card opens. I think I'm actually getting better at fussy cutting. <laughs> used to be really horrible at it, but I think I'm getting better. Just going to glue a little bit of this down here. Have that kind of sticking out there. And see, now that I have my design on the back, you can't even really tell. It's cute. Okay. And then... Let's see what we've got here. We're going to do Father of the Year. And then we have our nuts and bolts here. If I can put one of these, maybe we'll do one down here. Now I'm going to offset it because I've got one on the other side already. I might do one of the nuts and bolts up here. You love fussy cutting? Oh my goodness. Not here. Not at all. Oh, you know what? I was wondering what this was. It's a hockey puck. Okay. Sorry. It took me a second there. I think that this collection is just too adorable and there are so many different themes that you can work with. That one's really cute, Bank of Dad. That's the truth. Okay. Anyway, 
Here we go. This is a Father's Day card. See how simple and easy this was. It took us under 20 minutes, guys. That is super, super fast. Now, I did want to tell you that we are going to be working on another collection um, next week. I'm going to be making a really cute little album with, hold on, let me grab it real quick because I want to show it to you. We're going to be using Squeeze in the Fun, and it is not the album that I posted on Instagram, just so you know. It's going to be a little bit different. And Oh, sorry. Here we go. Let me show you this collection because it's adorable, and of course, we're getting into summer. Love, love, love this paper. Guys, because first of all, anyone who knows me knows that I'm obsessed with flamingos, okay? And I actually have a flamingo wrap. It is so cute. So let me show you this one real quick. It's called Squeezing Some Fun by Tracy Smith. And I love, love, love the color scheme in this. It's bright, it's fun, it's summery. So, so adorable. One of my favorite, life is tough, go on vacation. And I love the little pineapple drink. You have travel, it's five o'clock somewhere. Don't we wish it was five o'clock all the time? And then we have our little north, south, west, east. Let the adventure begin. And we have hello, and the cockatiel is just precious. And I love, love, love any time there's kind of like a a summer sunset look to anything so that's really pretty and then of course we have the cute little lemons for lemonade adorable I love these palm leaves is that not gorgeous the colors in here are just beautiful so much fun and then so we have that one and then of course we have our lemon this one's called lemonade and then we have green with lighter uh, green polka dots on the back very nice. And here's one of my favorite pages right here. Because it's a cocktails. Pedia Colada is what this one's called. And I love how it has kind of like the wave look here. That's really fun. It reminds me of like pool waves. Not ocean waves, but pool. Okay. So this could be like poolside type paper. I love the hibiscus leaves. We have lots and lots and lots of hibiscus flowers here in Florida. And I love how they did the striped. This kind of reminds me of, you know, towels, you know, beach towels, really super cute. Or cabanas, that's another thing. Or even umbrellas. And here's your little, I'm sorry, not a cockatiel, it's a cockatoo. Sorry, my bad, cockatoo. And then I love how you have the lemon color with the white polka dots, really super adorable. And then you have your pool floaties, your flip flops, your swimsuits, popsicles, lemons, cute, cute, cute. And then of course, here we go with the kind of like the beach sunset, like here's the water and then there's the sunset. Beautiful, that one's called Summer Lovin'. And then again, we're back to the sticker collection. I love Viva Life, Vacay Mode, Good company and summer nights. This one's really cute. You're the pina to my colada. Got your sunglasses, summertime, sun chair, sandy toe, sun kissed nose. Really adorable stuff. Love, love, love. And then here's your little stamps. Has um, let's chill, bring in the fun. I love the cruise ship. Okay. Love, love that. And of course, I love the little drinks too. Your lemonade and your daiquiri drinks and the ice cream, really cute. And it does have etched dies as well for that. So no more fussy cutting, right? We love that. And then you have your uh, cardstock ephemera pieces. And I love how it has a little, it has again, four frames. That's really nice. You have some tabs and just all sorts of cute stuff. Happiness comes in waves, that's adorable love 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 super cute and then if you guys are planners this is fun too they have the puffy stickers so cute anyway so that's what we're going to be working on i'm sorry not next week but the week after i apologize but i'll definitely have that up for you 
And again, there will be a PDF for that tutorial. So I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous week, guys, and cannot wait to see your crafts. Don't forget to share them on the Photo Play Facebook page right here on this page. All you have to do is uh, click on Gallery, and you can post whatever you want. Thank you, guys. Have a great one. Bye.